me throw a hat on. Welcome to Ask the Row 7. Thank you. Glad to be here. <laughs> USA. USA. Ryan in the house. Where's your phone, Ryan? Get in there. there. Relax. You're the one who was late today. I was late by four minutes. Yeah. Because traffic was a bitch. Are you recording? Yeah, I've Are been you recording. Sure? I have been. I haven't read the question, so. I haven't either. <laughs> Every time we do these, I say I'm going to read them, and I always I, forget. We got some good ones, though, I feel like, don't we? <laughs> Maybe I just start don't with know because I haven't read them. So. <laughs> All right, we're going to start We're gonna start with this one. All right. All right. Did you do the intro already? Yeah, it was just really dumb and dorky, but that's fine. Okay, we got water over here. If you guys want to ask the bros eight, make sure you comment below, ask us questions you have that you want us to answer, or just anything in general, comment below and we'll use that in the next video and give you a shout out. So let's get on with the road. Do I have any barbecue out. sauce in my face? No, you're fine. Okay. What'd you have for lunch? I had like a pound and a half of chicken and oatmeal. A pound and a half? Yeah. Just pound chicken. And one point. Yeah. Grilled chicken. No, I did oatmeal too. There's no no bread? No. <laughs> Bro, bread is for old people. <laughs> okay, so, so this guy's username is Navy47, and I for real almost said Navy47. Wow. Okay, so Navy47. Hello, is he your real brother? No, we are not brothers. Mm -mm. Bros, but not brothers. We met two years ago at the gym. No, it's been more than that, hasn't it? Okay, probably more. 2017? No, it was more Six than that. 16? Oh, it might have been... I feel like we met in 16, but we didn't actually start talking until 17. 16, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. All right. Also, you ever been to Spain? Since you love California, would you be willing to travel to, let's say, Spain? Very similar state slash country. I'm just, I don't like flying, so I don't think I could do it. We can drive to California? Yeah. Well, it's not very much. Dude, that's away. like a 30-hour drive. Hell yeah, it is. I can just do pit stops. But I don't mind flying to California. It's... Anything over three hours is a lot for me. Okay. Like, I fly to Florida, and that's my limit. Like, after that, I'm like, I need to get Dude, when you flew out of South America, it was like 25 hours. I would die. It was, well, we went down to, so we went from Minneapolis to Atlanta, and then from Atlanta down to uh, Buenos Aires in Argentina, and that was like a 20-something hour flight. Did you want to die? I slept for, like, a good amount of it. Really? So, yeah. Yeah. Oof. Um, okay, cool. You go on the next one. Right. Jeff Key, um, he said we've missed you too, or we've missed you too, like us too. We to the number. Yes. Okay. Hey, you said let's go. That's what you always say. Let's go. Let's go. Biggest fear. Am I going first? Mm -hmm. Giraffes. A weird thing with giraffes, man. I don't like that. Do you really? <laughs> No, just so kidding. You guys have um, next or what? Okay, that's that's what, anytime somebody asks what my biggest fear is, that's what I always say because uh, you remember the "Not Afraid" by Eminem, that song. Yes. When it was huge, he did an interview and they asked him if he's afraid of anything, and that's what he said. <laughs> snakes for me. I'm not not cool with snakes at all. Yeah. What about you? I have a lot. My whole life's a big fear. I would say spiders. We'll just throw that in there. Spiders. These are nasty little shits. All right, uh, who's your hero? Yours is Bradley Martin. Mine is... Um, Why you don't let me answer? <laughs> no. Uh, I have one. I'm my own hero. Maybe I wasn't going to say Bradley Martin. <laughs> you definitely were. I was, but I was also going to say <laughs> my, my, my dad, too. I'm oh, my dad. Name. Your dad? He's, he's right. been a great role model. Sorry for answering. You. Yeah, just steal my thunder right away. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, what other ones I want to pick? What gets you angry? <laughs> oh, I could write a book on that. <laughs> I had a short What piece. doesn't get you angry? <laughs> okay, know. maybe in the past week, what has pissed you off? Something that's mm. just annoyed the shit out of you. Um. Hmm. You're doing this with your hands. Something's cooking. I'm thinking. You're cooking. <laughs> I'm not cooking. Um, <laughs> what pisses me off? I mean, I'm not gonna rant about the like the gym stuff because I have a lot of gym pet peeves. But 
Um, like when I ask somebody to do something for me, I don't ask for things very often. I'm very low maintenance. So like when I ask something, like I expect it to be done and not have to expect to go, hey, did you do this? Hey, did you do this? Hey, did you do this? Like it's, I, right. hate, I hate having to do that. And it's just really frustrating just when really that happens. Yeah. Got it. I don't think I've ever seen you mad. I just realized I don't think I've ever seen you. You haven't seen me. Pissed. You haven't seen me mad though. You've seen me mad a lot. <laughs> yeah, like a lot. Most of the times we hang out, you get mad. I get um, I get fired up. I went, you, you get amped. Know. No, because those are two different things. That's true. Amped is like excited. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I keep cutting you off. Go no, ahead. it's okay. Uh, <clears throat> when people tell me to do something that they don't do themselves. Oh. The do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, I hate that shit. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. All right, I'm going to answer one more. Thank you, Jeff, for these amazing questions. They're great. Um, the worst gift you've ever received. The worst gift I've ever received? My genetics. Wow, you made that really real. <laughs> I was, I was, Shit just got so real. I was just having Christmas flashbacks, but um, I think when I was younger, I didn't like clothes as much as I would appreciate them now. Like I'd be like, Sh "Cool, new clothes," but like back then, I'd be like, "But where's the money, though?" Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't like getting clothes when I was younger. Like when your parents got you socks or something, it was just yeah. such a now, like, now like whenever I online shop, it's literally supplements and clothes, and that's it. those <laughs> right, are the that's only two things I buy online. It's like we should have listened, but no. Alright. Yeah, I, I don't want to answer for that question. That kind of Thank, sucks. Sorry. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for those um, questions. Alright. Scott's view too. Sorry if it's a topic previously covered, but was wondering if each of you have brothers or sisters. Keep up the great work and genuine content. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. I don't think that. we talked about this, have we? If we did, it was like the Q&A, but that's irrelevant. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we have covered this one. So, go ahead. Um, I have two sisters. One's in her early 40s, the other one's in her either late 30s or early 40s, so. Also, there's a big gap. Huge gap. Mm. So I was kind of like an only child, but I also have sisters now that I can talk to, mm. and I just got to be alone. So I loved it. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. How about with you? Sweet. I got three younger sisters. He has 13 sisters. <laughs> no, three younger sisters. Um, there's a set of twins that are in college right now, and the youngest is the golden child. She's in high school. What do you mean by golden child? She's my parents' favorite, like, by a lot. It's not close. Like, it's so obvious. My dad will, like, openly say that she is his favorite child. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> so, like, he's, he's given up on hiding it. You sure he's still your hero? Yeah, he still taught me a lot, and, like, he... He still I taught he me a lot, he just doesn't like me as much <laughs> as my sister. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Funny. Glenn Robinson... Uh, when was your first official date with your boyfriend, girlfriend, and where did you go? I'm single as, as poo. Do they mean ever? Like, where was your first ever date, or is it... Well, I suppose since we're both single, we can just answer that. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're both single right now, so... Okay, go ahead. Actually, I need to think about this. <laughs> I can't honestly... It must have not been that memorable, but we I can't, can't honestly it. answer. <laughs> That's not really a question I can answer. I think if we're, what do you mean you can't answer it? Well, cause I dated girls in high school. So it's like, where, where does the line go? Where first date, what? Okay, so where was your first date with a girl and where was your first date with a guy? I'm making you answer twice. Do you have yours? Can you say yours? Um, if we're not counting like, high school like prom and like homecoming or whatever because that's not really that serious um right. yeah i took a girl to uh minnehaha falls anybody from minnesota kind of should know where this is but it's like uh that's so cliche. it's in st paul and dude shut up i was like 18 hop hell. off all right <laughs> it was uh you probably had done that place dude honestly i don't think it was that popular back then you made that shit popular no i no but you made um, it popular wanted to go and i was like all right let's do it so it wasn't my idea. Stop making fun of me. It was a cool night, all right? <laughs> all right, so it was, um, yeah, we, it's like a, it's like a waterfall like area too. Like, yeah, to go on Google and like search it. It's like, it's no, actually, it is actually really, pretty, really cool spot. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Probably a romantic too, I'm assuming. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding a little bit. It's kind of crowded. 
Um, it was dead when we went. There was oh, we saw was, like two people there, and that was it. See, I told you, you made that shit blow up. Um, the first person I dated was my friend Elliot. I don't really remember. We just started hanging out. I don't think there was a first date, really. Mm -hmm. It was just weird. We had a girl I took to Mini Hot. I was uh, like, we hung out a few times first, and then like the first time we like actually went anywhere, that's where it was. For real? Mm -hmm. Nice. It wasn't like a hey, let's do this. <laughs> Like before anything let's was happening. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. First day with a guy, I would say I was 20 and it was at some restaurant in downtown Duluth. Yeah, it was. Do it was you remember that one? I remember that, that one. That one's a little bit more memorable. That's more recent. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you for the question. Where are we? Oh, my boy. This is, uh, this is Weston. All right. George is West. George, uh, the <laughs> George West. I'm always, I always have questions. What are you both most scared of? We just covered that, so we can skip that one. Um, tell us about a weird experience you've encountered and how you handled it. A weird experience. Something weird happened the other day. I was talking to someone on Tinder. It was like, I don't know, it was fine. And then we added each other on Snapchat and I sent him a selfie of me and he responded saying, yuck. And then he just ghosted me. <laughs> it wasn't even a bad selfie. <laughs> I'm so sorry, that's, I shouldn't laugh at that. It's but just it's, like- It's kind of funny. So I just blocked him on everything or I just deleted him. Like, I don't know. That was a weird, what was it? A weird experience. A that was weird, weird to me. That was weird. Like, I look no different than in my picture, so I don't know what, if he purposely asked people just to do that, or... I don't know. I just had no, no thoughts. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Um... Cut to Ryan laughing his ass off. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> I'm so, I, I just like, it, it's so, it's like so blatantly... It's such a blatant dick move. Like, why would you just like not, just not respond? I think there hasn't been anything like lately because like I literally, I wake up, I work all day, I go to the gym, come back, shower, eat and go to bed. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank there. Okay. If you could learn any language, what would it be and why? I tried it, I took three years of Spanish and I couldn't learn anything. So I yeah, physically can't comprehend another language. I just can't. Yeah, dude, I was like, I think I did pretty well in school, but like Spanish just I don't understand. I can't do it. I took I took two classes of Spanish in college and it was my two lowest grades of any class I took. Do you remember anything from it? No. <laughs> I don't know either. No, I can I remember maybe ten words. Props to the people that know there's people that know like three, four languages. I don't know how they can do that. I, I I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Spanish though, just because like if you hear another language besides English in the US, like it's usually Spanish. It's like one you don't really, you don't primary really hear, in the U.S. You don't really hear French very often. You don't really not hear in the US, no. other stuff. So, what's your first memory? Is this still from Weston? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got one more after this. What's my first memory? Um, I was a baby, um, and I was in a in the crib. And Do you remember being a baby? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I feel like most people can't. No, no, I do. Um, I was in the crib and I saw like the old ugly ass couch that we used to have at my old house. Mm -hmm. And then I looked over at the TV and some like 80s music video was playing. I, I don't know why I remember this, but I specifically remember waking up in my room house. I, I remember specifically being three years old, getting out of bed, walking downstairs into the kitchen. And I saw my mom like making breakfast or something. I said, hi mom. I remember my brain processed. How did I know that was my mom? Dude, it was it was weird. Shit. And I just like I just, like I thought it, and then I just like let it go. Cause I probably got distracted. Cause I'm three, I probably got distracted by something else. Right. But like, yeah, I don't know why for some reason that is burning in my memory. It's yeah. You just had like a little hiccup, but like. But I don't see. Here's the thing. I remember absolutely nothing before that. That was just the first At memory. All. That's the f yeah. So. Wow, I remember really stupid shit. I don't know. See, I've got tons and tons of memories, but like that's like the first one that I can think of. Okay. Last question from Weston. Oh, by the way, um, 
I just remembered, have you ever been to Michigan? Yes. Have you been camping in Michigan? No. Okay. Weston DM me and asked if there's like good camping spots in Michigan. I was like, I've never been, sorry dude. <laughs> never been camping. No, okay. I've never been camping in my life. I was gonna pass it on if you if you had been, but okay. All right. Do you guys dream and tell us about a scary dream? Yeah. Yeah, I have scary dreams every night. Do you actually? I have, yeah, I have severe anxiety, so they all come out my dreams. I dream? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, tell us about a scary dream. I had, when I was when I was young, like when I was little, you remember, like you ever watch uh, 101 Dalmatians? Yes. Dude, had legit nightmares about Corella DeVille. Really? Scared the shit out of me. Like, I had terrible nightmares about her. I do have a scary dream when I was younger. Uh, it was a recurring dream where I was um, being pushed in this, like, walker by this, like, very old lady with long white hair and big eyes and yellow teeth. She looked <laughs> sketchy as hell. And I would always try to run away from her and I would always end up back in there. Do you ever get that in dreams where like you're trying to run, but it's like you're running in super slow? Yes, it's like you're not moving. You're it's like, like come on, lazy ass body. There's a there's a term for that. I know that there's a term for that, and I have no idea what it is. Just dumbassness. That's not it. <laughs> but close. We'll I think we're close. Okay, you're up. Moses Garcia. There's one question he asked. Um, when did you come out? What pushed you to come out, and how did it go? I do have a video, a coming out story. I would just check out that. Um, I can just say I came out in 2000, fully to everyone in 2016. Yeah. Uh, but he has other questions. Uh, let's see. Oh, he also asked what our biggest fear is. Damn, we must be scared of a lot of shit. That's I feel like that's like a good, like, broad question, though, too. It is really good. Um, that was the third time we got asked for this That's video, crazy. Though. Um, he said his biggest fear is deep ocean water and clustered holes. They both sound awful. That is kind of, yeah. I kind of, I kind of vibe with that though. Like, have you ever, like, have you ever been like snorkeling in the ocean though? And like, you look down and like, you can't see the floor. That would freak That's, me out. It's terrifying. Especially I because like I that. watched a lot of Shark Week when I was young. <laughs> like, an unhealthy amount. So, you have a little PTSD from that? <laughs> well, no, because, like, you watch, like, you watch, like, the videos, like, the great white sharks, like, fly out of the water. They drop, like, all the way down to the floor, and then they straight up just, poof, so you like, just see their fly. Fate. So, like, if you, you could be looking down, and all you'll see is, like, like, it was crazy. That's they, they terrifying. Did, uh, like, one of the, it's, like, Air Jaws or something like that. They had, like, a seal decoy they were pulling behind the boat, and they put a camera that was face down. So, you could see, and it, all you saw was black. And then, like, all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, like, shark, just done. It was on. It's That's so, terrifying. it's so cool. But, like, wow. yeah, it's like if you're ever in that situation where you look down and you can't see the bottom, that thought just goes <laughs> in the head. Like, I could die at any second. Um, something he added to that question, he said, do you see your fear being a roadblock in your life? No, there's not a lot of snakes in Minnesota. <laughs> and I don't want to be, like, a zookeeper or anything, so <laughs> not really, no. I would say no, and I think fears can be a drive to conquer more. Mm -hmm. Just make you stronger, you know? Thank you for the questions. Also, though, fear is like, fear is like an acknowledgement of danger. Because there's a difference between, there's a difference between doing something that's scary and knowing that it's scary, and just doing something that's scary to other people that you just don't think is a big deal. Brian Lupo. I don't know how I missed these questions, but I would have asked Ryan if he ever had a gay guy compliment him. If not, I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Brian. Um, have I ever had a gay guy compliment me? Like, yeah, if you guys have on Instagram, actually, a few, a few of the viewers of this channel have. Um, DM'd you or I like, like it. I, it makes me feel good. Like, I mean, as long as, as long as, like, you know, you guys know, like, I am straight, then, and nothing's going to come of it, then, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like when women compliment me. Yeah. You know what good. I've noticed, too? Guys as a whole don't really get a lot of compliments. It's a lot less, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a lot less than, like, girls get. Well, I think part of it is, like, how do guys interact with each other? They give each other shit. 
girls interact by giving each other compliments. And most of the time, the girls don't really mean it. And mo almost all the time, the guys don't really mean it either. Other guys just give you shit and girls don't really compliment you much. Whereas girls are getting compliments from guys and girls. Wow, you're right. Yeah. I am three much for this world. <laughs> um, Brandon, you know you are fine as F. Brian, it's okay to say fuck on this channel. Thank you. Brandon getting a tat and filming it, but Ryan gets one as well. Ooh, I like that idea. That would be a good idea. Yeah. I'm scared. Would you be scared too? Of like getting the tattoo? Not really. But like the placement being like, shit, I should have gotten it somewhere else, but I can't now. No, not, I mean like the only, the only thing I'd be worried about is like not loving the design forever. Are you scared and I'm scared like... I don't want it to stretch and look weird too. Like if that's you get, my, if you get bigger and then it looks bulgy. I'm going weird. to get bigger. That's the thing. There's no that way that I'm as big as I say like that. that it's not going to affect the tattoo, but I'm like, mm, is it though? Yeah. I, I feel like it would, but I mean, I don't know. Okay. Um, keep going here. Dude for Ryan and sweet for Brandon. Oh, that's what he, that's, he wants us to get the tattoos of that. I'm going to get dude and you're going to get sweet tattooed. <laughs> Those are going to be our first tattoos. Dope, dope. All right. Also, Ryan finally gets to skydive and drags Brandon to do it as well. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Oh, so he let's remembers. go. <laughs> let's go. I do say that a lot. I'm realizing. A lot. That. Yeah. But it hype, it always hypes me up because whenever Almost. you get the notification that I posted a YouTube video, you're like, let's go. Yeah. Because okay. I always screenshot and send it to you. <laughs> I want to let you know that like YouTube still sending out your notifications. That's good. That's a good thing. All right. JFB asks. Are you afraid of losing contact with your friends and family once you would be in Cali? If I do ever move to Cali, no, because I feel like if they're true friends, I'm going to make an effort to talk to them regardless. So no. Um, has a bit pandemic changed your views on life? I'm, I was super zoned out. Say that one more time. Has the pandemic... <laughs> Has the pan <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Has the pandemic changed your views on life? I mean, a little bit. Like, I, I think uh, there were a lot of things before, like, that I would kind of take for granted. Like, exactly what I was going to say. When the gym shut down, I didn't realize Literally, how bad that was going to mess me up. Dude, like, I... Oof. Yeah. Like, and just, like, the freedom of not wearing masks, like, in public and stuff, like... Yeah, I'm kind of getting used to that. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal, yeah. but, like... Just... Things that we never thought we'd have to deal with. Yeah, I miss the bars a lot too. Yeah, I kind of took that for I, like there were there were definitely times where like I would go out and I'd be like, oh yeah, you know, it's just another night. But now it's like anytime I do make it out to like a bar that's like actually happening or like any sort of party or anything, it's like I have so much more fun just because <laughs> I'm not doing it all the time. Right. I don't really get the opportunity to do it much anymore. So that makes sense. Um. Did it make you reflect on how unexpected it could be? Hundred percent. Well, yeah, I think we everybody would be. Nobody no one thought it would be to this level. Yeah. Yeah, I was I, like, oh, okay, something's happening, and then it would fade away. I was in it denial through like July. <laughs> I was. It was. It was a constant battle of like, oh, it's just gonna be two more weeks, just two more weeks, just two more weeks, it's just not, two more weeks, and now it's like January is probably a pipe dream. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um. What is the freakiest thing you have done during quarantine? Freakiest. Ooh, can't say oh. that on camera. <laughs> yeah. What's the free... Uh... Can't say that on camera. That's... <laughs> we might want to just cut this part out. Literally the We're going to cut answer. this one out. I'm sorry, we can't answer that. And I don't want to lie and come up with like a third best option. So we'll skip. <laughs> okay. Thank you though. All right. Love to love you, baby. Last question or last person asking a question. If this is a question. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Love to love you, baby. What do you prefer, Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi? That ass. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I love Diet Pepsi. It's some good stuff. But I don't drink pop at all. So if I had to drink yeah. pop. But I just don't. I like, I like soda water. Coke for me, for sure. Coke. It's not close either. Coke. Like at all. Not that kind of Coke. <laughs> all right, rapid fire. Ready? Okay. Cashews or almonds? Oh, cashews. That was not rapid at all. <laughs> Almonds is also the correct answer. Okay. <laughs> Coffee or tea? Tea. Dating someone taller than you or shorter than you? Taller. 
Okay, for 100%. me, it's for me, it's definitely shorter. Well, yeah. That'd be but like, uh, yeah. Okay, that was it. Also, that uh, was a lot of fun. I thought you were gonna answer with me, so I was like, okay, Ryan, your turn. But you did it. So I was I waiting just, for you to go. Got it. Okay. Okay. Um. Also, coffee or tea depends for me. Half iced tea, half lemonade. Arnie's slap. Love Arnold Palmer's. And you can include that. That's tea. Tea is tea. Yeah, but like coffee, like I need every once in a while. For Ryan, has a gay guy ever come on to you? And if we no, already read this one. one. No, we didn't. No, he asked if I've if I've ever been complimented by a gay, or somebody else asked if I've ever been complimented. I've never, I don't think I've ever had a gay guy seriously come on to me. Oh, I didn't see this. Sorry, Brian. It's okay. I got you, Brian. I got you. Um, yeah, I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever had like a gay guy actually come on to me. Probably not. I've had, I've had a few times where like I've had a gay guy like compliment me like in like a flirty way, but it's. But it's not like. I don't know. It's cool though. I kind of. It's, it's not it's like kind of. A, it's a nice little ego booster. It's not like Ryan, I want you. Like, there's not that kind of shit. No, no, nothing, nothing serious. It's more like a cat call type of deal. Okay. Brandon, which would you rather have? A LTR with one guy, or do you prefer to, quote, play the field? What is LTR? Long term relationship. Oh. Um, I'd much rather long term relationship. I just am too picky. So until then, I, I, I don't even like the word playing the field. I mean, getting to know a bunch of different people and seeing if one of them clicks, but not like in the way of like, I'm gonna have sex with all these people. It's not like that, <laughs> but like, just getting to know a bunch of people and seeing if anything clicks, I guess. But yeah, I want long-term. How about you, do you want long-term or hookups? Hook hookups. Right now, on, right now long-term, for sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, what's going to happen with your friendship when Brandon makes the big move? We're never gonna talk to each other ever. Ever again. These never videos will be video. no more. <laughs> I don't, we do. We could do like, do like a like a like a Zoom call and like record it. We totally could. And like, ask the bros thing. Zoom edition, which we really should have done during like quarantine, quarantine. but whatever. Nah. Um, what the hell is going on outside right now? Oh, they're painting and blowing shit. Oh. Um, they move. I don't know. I'll come out. Like, I'll fly out every once in a while. That'd be fun. We'll go yeah. to the zoo culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Cool. Thank you guys for the wonderful questions. Yeah. Thanks guys for watching. Um, throw more questions you guys got in the comments, or if you have other video ideas too, like we're happy to hear them. We're kind of talking about trying to mix it up a little bit because I know that we've been kind of been doing these. You know, a little, people a little love repetitive. people love these ask the bros, but like. Something different when, when we started, we did a lot of different, very different mm -hmm. things. So mm -hmm. if you want us to go back to a mix of everything or just keep these up, whatever, whatever you guys want. So cool. Make sure to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you're not already hit that bell button notification, toss us a like, have a great day. Thank you.